GCSE Geography, Coastal Management. In this video, we are going to look at hard and soft engineering, seawall, gabions, rock armour, groins, beach nourishment, protection and dune regeneration. So let's start by looking at what actually is hard versus soft engineering. Hard is man-made structures built to control the flow of the sea and reduce flooding and erosion. Soft engineering are schemes that are set up using knowledge of the sea and its processes to reduce the effects of flooding and erosion. Hard engineering strategies. The first one, building a sea wall a wall built at the edge of the coastline. This aims to protect the base of cliffs, land and buildings against erosion. It can also prevent coastal flooding in some areas. However, this is expensive to build and curved seawalls reflect the energy of the waves back onto the sea, which mean the waves remain very powerful. Over time, the wall may begin to erode and the cost of maintenance is very high. Building groins. Groins are wooden barriers built at right angles towards the beach. These prevent the movement of the beach material along the coast, known as longshore drift. This allows the build up of a beach. Beaches are a natural defense against erosion because they absorb wave energy and are an attraction for tourists. Disadvantages. This can be seen as unattractive and it's costly to build and maintain. Rock armour and boulder barriers. These are large boulders that are piled up on the beach. These absorb the energy of waves and allow the build up of a beach. However, these can be expensive to obtain and transport. Soft engineering strategies. The first being beach nourishment. This replaces the beach or cliff material that has been removed by erosion or longshore drift. The main advantage is that beaches are a natural defense against erosion and coastal flooding, as well as a tourist attraction. It is relatively inexpensive, but it does require constant maintenance to replace the beach material as it is washed away. Managed retreat. Areas of the coast are allowed to erode and flood naturally. Usually this will be areas considered to be of low value. For example, places not being used for housing or farmland. The advantages that it encourages the development of beaches and natural defence, as well as salt marshes, which is important for the environment, as well as having a low cost. Managed retreat is a cheap option, but people will need to be compensated for loss of buildings and farmland. For more videos on GCSE English, French, Geography and Religious Studies, make sure you subscribe to Noble Full GCSE. Thank you for watching and see you soon.